What's up guys, Dev Shaw here again and today we'll be doing something a little different. Today we'll be making a human brain out of Play-Doh. Let's start by making the cortexes. Our cellular cortex is the wrinkly outer part of our brain. That is used for higher cognitive information and is used for processing sensory thoughts. How, why do you think the brain is so wrinkly? so wrinkly for its wrinkles to maximize the surface area of our brain, allowing for more neurons to enter and increase the connection between them. How much do you think the brain weighs? The brain weight, the adult human brain weighs about three pounds, and the maximum weight for a and for an animal brain ever recorded was 17 pounds by the sperm whale. This means that human brains have a lot in common with many other animals. Humans are animals if you think about it. Almost all animal brains have the same basic parts. Parts to help us move, think, and sense the world around us. Although the basic parts of the brain are the same among most animals, every animal brain does something special and a little different. For example, cats, the cat's brain have a very good sense of smell. So their part of the brain can sense very powerful things compared to other animals. As Similarity, similarly, dogs have a very good sense of eyesight, which allows them to see more farther things than other animals. Most furry animals, including humans, have a cortex. The cortex is responsible for learning, thinking, and decision making. So, if all animals have a cortex, what makes humans different? Humans have a much larger and more wrinklier cortex compared to other animals. So, you might be surprised, but the wrinkles and folds on a human's brain is very important on what on what our brain makes us so special. Imagine, imagine your brain is a piece of paper, okay? Trying to fit a flat piece of paper in your, in, your, in your head will be very difficult. But if you crumble the paper into a ball, it fits. The crumbled piece of paper has a lot of bumps and folds so you can fit a much more larger piece of paper into a small space. Our brain works the same way by adding lots of bumps and folds so humans can fit a much more larger brain into our heads. The cortex is divided into four district areas called lobes that subserve as different functions of the brain. problem solving. The partial lobes are used for processing sensory information like touch, smell, taste, pressure, temperature, and many of our senses. The two occupant lobes are used for visual processing of the center of the brain. The temperate lobe, which is the yellow piece, is important for memory learning and hearing. Lastly, our cellular lobe is a structure at the base of our brain that regulates balance and coordination. Finally, is our brainstem. The brainstem, also known as the reptical brain, is the most primitive or early stage of the devil brain part of our brain. It 
It regulates basic functions such as breathing, heart rate, and blood pressure. Overall, from this presentation, we have learned that humans have special abilities to speak, read, and write. Also, to share ideas and imagine the future. Just how dogs have brains that are best at finding and learning smells, humans have brains that are best at thinking and communicating ideas and feelings. Our brains make us unique. This is Dev Shaw with another brain video for you guys. Please like and subscribe to our channel and see you later. Goodbye.